embellishing them, just actually making the book. Um, those of you who uh, followed my book tutorial know that it doesn't take that long to actually make the book. It, to me, it, the embellishing part is the long, long, long part because I'm, I never know when it's enough. And, and I'm like, I think it needs more. I think it needs more. And if I had my way, I would sit there and I'd fill that sucker up. But I like to make it to where people can still do stuff in it, but they have a good start for them. Thank you guys for the likes and for the gifts. It's very sweet. Thank you. Okay. This is the new Stamperia. Uh, Create Happiness Home Welcome Home Collection. I love it because I like to make house shaped books. And that's going to be the next one as I'm going to make a house shaped book. So I figured I'd show you guys because I think I'm one of the first ones to actually have this available. Because it just came out last week and I ordered it the same exact... Actually, no, I ordered it the day before it came out because um, uh, I'm a distributor and distributors are the only people allowed to order directly from them. And they let us know what the theme was going to be like a day or two before. And when I went up there, I said, yep. I'm getting everything in the collection because I love it. It's fantastic. And then the next day it was sold completely out. And I don't know if that was because of me because I did buy a lot. But I'm just saying it was kind of a coincidence. So uh, I just put this on here today on my Etsy store. This is a brand new pack. I just got it today. Um, so it was only added on here today on my Etsy store. But this is what it looks like. It's gorgeous. It's all home themed. And I'm also going to show you the ephemera packs because they made a bunch to go with that, which is very rare. They usually only make like one pack to go with the actual theme. And it's got some writing back here, not really anything specific, but I can tell by looking at this which pages are going to be what in my book. So it's, it's nice. I like it a lot, especially there's lots of teacups and stuff like that. Uh, in Stamperia, it's like, seriously, that's the only reason I went to go work for them is because I think their paper is beyond impressive. All of this, their artists actually do all this and paint it and then they produce it. And they don't produce a lot of it. They produce some and they end up having to run it, running out. And I think... Uh, so if something's out of stock in my store, chances are it's probably on back order until they get more made. That usually happens a lot. Especially when the rose perfume collection came out. And if you see this, this has like a split down the middle. And so it kind of looks like, like a book page. So that is super cute. I would actually use this as a book page in the normal book because my... Book pages are eight and a half by eleven, and I fold them in half, so this works out pretty good that way. And as you guys know, they always come with postcards or tags and ephemera. It's just this is the stuff that I will not cut out. I will sometimes if I'm in the middle of a book and I don't feel like waiting on my husband, but my husband is the one who cuts these out. And if you see it, any of them in my Etsy shop, the tags and stuff like that, he cuts all those out. And I put the eyelets in them. Some of them he has put the eyelets in it for me. Um, so he's the fussy cutter of my Etsy shop. Everybody in my family has a job to do. So I like the clocks too. That's 
that is really cute. This is not bad. I'm talking, well, I'll show you what I mean when I'm saying fussy cutting. Oh my gosh. Some of this stuff, I'm like, nope, that ain't happening. Because it's just, I dropped my pages down here. Okay, this, I'm okay with cutting that. I'm not okay with cutting this. Even though they're gorgeous, I don't want to cut this. I it just, when I look at that, and there's ones that are even worse. And I'm like, I, uh, I almost want, I wish that I had a big enough scanner to scan it in and see if my Cricut will cut it for me. But, yeah, gosh. Oh, here we go. Here, <laughs> I spoke too soon. This is, um, this is the, uh, yeah. So, oh, yeah, all this. It's so pretty though, but I will tell you, if you like all this stuff back here and you want to cut it, that's fine. But I'm going to show you a little hack and it's called die cut. Okay. And Stamperia does have die cuts and ephemera packs pretty much for every single paper pad that they have. Not all of them. Like, some of them will only have die cuts and not, like, the sticker ephemera ones, but, and vice versa. But, see, here's the teacups. There's the teacups. There's the window back here. Here's the window. So, basically, all of this is in here. And, and it's thick. It's like a real thick uh, chipboard. And, but that just makes, this is easy. I'd rather do this. You know, and I don't waste this page. Usually this kind of page, I would just, I'd throw it in my scrap box. And then if I wanted to use like the booth or something, then that's when I go ask my husband, hey, can you please cut this out? If I told him to cut out all this, he said, he would say, no, I'll cut out the simple stuff like this stuff in the window, but he's not going to sit there and cut <laughs> all that. I tried. Um, but the ephemera packs, um, these can be kind of confusing because there's two different ones, but if you look at them, they look almost exactly the same, like with the stuff in them. And uh, this one, but the difference is, this one is like this one, but these have stickers on the back. So if it says ephemera on it and not die cuts, these are stickers. Also, there are clear die cuts that are kind of like a, uh, I'm not sure what kind of material it is, but it kind of feels plastic almost. But I'll open these, cause these are mine that I swiped out of, let me just find something to put them in. I made sure, I always, I always tell people I'm like a dealer and I take my cut. Um, I'm gonna put it on this lid. Cause there's all kinds of little pieces to this. But yes, that's the welcome home. And I don't want to lose the little pieces because then I'll end up finding them everywhere. Especially on the floor. And these are the adhesive ones. And I have not opened up any of these yet, so I have no idea what all the pieces are in there. But they have little cute jars, it looks like. Oh, the teacups are cute. So this is kind of like uh, a flower pot. Then they have a little ladder, which you could attach on there. And they have all kinds of flowers. The little houses are super cute. And hopefully I will have enough for everybody to in my Etsy shop because no more of this is going to be in stock until mid-February. Because it, like I said, it sold completely out. Little wagon. And these are also, you don't even have to use these. Like I would use these on books and stuff when I'm decorating them. You can use them in journaling pages. They're super thin. And gosh, the stickers are so easy to get off. And cards. 
whichever. So this is the one pack right here. The one with the houses in it, that is this pack. The way I could tell them apart is one has a bicycle in it, and then one, the ones have houses in it. That's And besides reading the code on the back. So this one is that. And no, see what I mean? I don't like cutting all this stuff out of the books. This is nice, and they have stickies on it. We like stickers. Stickers are wonderful. You don't have to waste glue. And then this one, I think one of them is also called, each ephemera pack is called a certain thing. One is called Homes, and that's probably this one. Then one of them's called Clocks. Maybe this one. And then Village or something like that. That may be Village. No, this one may be the Village one. So this is this one. The little chair's cute. Oh, look a little wee. Somebody was asking me if they had dogs in any of the paper pads. And they don't. They usually have cats. Like they have orchard orchids and orchids or and cats or something like that. Uh, paper pad. And somebody was like, oh, I wish they had dogs. And they do on certain ones. They'll just have like one or two dogs mixed in. Like uh, I think there was one on the Cosmos Infinity Pack. Yes, that have wolves. Um, let's see, right here. And but that's about it. But that's like one page, I think, that they have. Yeah, right here. But they don't have like like uh, domestic dogs like they do with the domestic cat. And that would be kind of nice if they did. Even in the Christmas pack, uh, the classic Christmas, that's cute. They had cats and cats and cats. And this one actually has a few dogs in it. So maybe they, maybe they actually listened a little bit. And then here's the cute little window. Oh, I love the picket fence. That's awesome. Is that a front door? See, this is going to make a perfect house book. Just like my other house books. I like it. I like it a lot. So, yeah. And then they have a little table. What is it? Oh, the little birdhouse. That's cute. Teapots. Everybody likes teacups and teapots. There's a little cat. Put the cat outside and put the dog in the inside. <laughs> I, li I like animals. I like dogs or cats. If you ask my husband, he hates cats. And so does my oldest daughter. I'm, I'm okay with either. As long as they're not jerks. So it doesn't matter to me. I like, I like all animals that are domestic animals. I don't like, like reptiles or weird stuff like that. I grew up in Florida and I don't want to see another reptile up close for as long as I live. I've seen too many and I'm, I'm good. So this is awesome. I cannot wait. I, I, I have a feeling I'm going to be up until like two o'clock in the morning messing with this now because I'm going to be like, I have to make this book. All right, I'm going to move this over, and I'll show you the little die cuts. And these ones, like I said, are thicker. These ones are real thin, and they're stickers. And they kind of got like a little uh, shimmery thing on them. I like, I don't know what kind of paper it is. So these are the, oh, here's a little hot air balloon. Let me poke this little piece out that they had left in there. Hot air balloon. See, there's cat. And then they got a big weenie dog. And a house. That out teapot. Poke these out. And they have a. Uh... Oh, here's another house. One has actual flowers around it and stuff. And 
I'm looking at oh this is just like the little house and the teapot they have all kinds of stuff in here there's another little cat here's that dog but bigger the other dog and oh that's cute there's another hot air balloon so these ones like that are like thick cardboard type these actually go really well on uh, book covers or little projects like if you were doing a box or anything like that mixed media project these would go really really well with them and then they have the flowers so I love it I hope you guys like it too because I absolutely love it I think they're this is a good collection this is like as good as the when the rose perfume came out and they also have the wooden shapes um, I like this because they're all flat you can actually see what they are uh, so they have like some wooden houses here um, if you guys have seen my little bookshelf that or the little shelf with the drawers in it that I redid they had some houses that were pink sweet winter houses and I used those on the back of that shelf and so I'm thinking I need to go to the thrift store so I can make another one of those shelves and do a house version of that because this little picket fence is cute and then they have the teapots and the clocks this one I definitely know is called clocks I remember putting this in there so and these are like little laser wood chip uh, wood boards uh, that you can add to your projects and then the other thing they came out with in this collection are the clear stamps that go with it and I I haven't seen this many clear stamps with the any kind of collection they do have different clear stamps that go with the different ones um, and they're pretty awesome this one is called clocks because it has the clocks on it also I will say I have a ton of acrylic stamps that I've gotten from a lot of different places but the Stamperia stamps are the only ones that I have ever seen with writing like this that when you stamp it the whole writing actually comes out and it's not all like weird and stuff because I'm I hate that I can't stand that and I like to test out stuff before I stand behind it and everyone that I've ever tested out they're amazing and stuff like this you can use that for pattern stuff on pages they have this one this one is a tea set one it's really cute and I do have I may only have one of the clear stamping blocks left in there because usually when I get these they are gone because uh, they're handy and then this is the other one y'all let me make sure I have it in the camera I use you can use any kind of ink I have the Stamperia ink I usually use the Ranger uh, distress oxide you can use the archival ink you can use anything on them I've used I've used everything and anything I've used just a regular stamping pad with these and they seem to work just fine oh yeah I like the fence too I like the ones that are like this so you can do the pattern stuff on there but these three also I uh, came this is that part of this collection and I got some restocks in of the other ones that have been out and I've been waiting on them to get those back in so the whole collection is really awesome I like it a lot I can't wait till they come out with um, other collections because they would be yeah it's like this fence they would be uh, probably just as amazing and I'm a big fan of the steampunk uh, stuff and I I like the flower stuff once in a while but I'm a big fan of 
the stuff they don't have a bunch of. Like, I like the lilac flowers and stuff. They're okay, but you see it a lot, and it's pretty. But you like the stuff that you don't see a lot. So, like the Imagine book. I, do, I did get some of those back in. If you saw my book that I just finished, it's from uh, the Imagine Mega Paper Pad. It's 22 pages. I use that one paper pad to do everything in that book, including making the book. I usually have to use two paper pads to complete. So if I made a book out of this, I'd have to use two of them to complete the book. And then I would use the rest of the paper to make all the inserts and stuff for that. Oh, anime stickers. That wouldn't be too hard to do. You just do something like Dragon Ball Z or something like that. I don't know, though. My my daughter was watching some anime uh, show. It wasn't bad or anything. I just didn't get it. And she liked it. And I'm like, what is this even about? It's making my head hurt. I don't get it. And it, it's just some, it was on Netflix. I don't, I don't remember what it was called. But she likes a lot of that stuff. And everything, so... I'm just reading you guys' comments. But yeah, I, I agree. Let them challenge you with different themes. Anytime anyone asks for a request, I pick something really, really off the wall. Because most people will say, you know, book theme or steampunk or something like that. And I will say, like, a general store in the 1950s you know so oh I know the, the vintage design I I have like three favorite themes that I can do anything with I don't have to think about it and that is probably like travel even like vintage travel or just regular travel uh, steampunk, and I would have to say probably, I don't know, I would probably just say those two are probably my favorite to do, is vintage steampunk um, and travel, because I just think there's so much you can do with travel. Just DM me on here. I don't know what my username is off the top of my head. I have to go over there to my other desk and turn my computer on and see what it is. But you could just send me a message on here. And you tell me what any time. Sorry, I'm tired. I just yawn. I'm so rude. And everything. But yeah, I will definitely um, let you know. And I'll probably have to go on there and check it and update it and all that stuff. Because I haven't been on there in so long. That uh, it, <laughs> it's probably like, who are you? I, I like it. I like Cricut and everything. But it's just, uh, to me, I'm, it seems like such a hassle sometimes. And stuff. So, but yes, and I'm trying to keep up on the um, making sure all the good stuff is still in stock and everything on there. But and thank you guys for the likes and the gifts. That's so sweet. Thank you. And I just so happen, I actually may start this on here if you guys want to, let me see what time it is. Oh my gosh, it's only 7.41. The night is young. I could sit here and show you guys what I'm planning on doing with this real quick. Because I guarantee you I could whip this out in no time. Because I just found in this box under my desk, I already had 
chipboard all cut out and that just made me all excited and everything. Um, I've made house shaped journal books. I've made a few, um, especially during Christmas. The first one I ever did, which I would show you guys, but I cannot get it down because it's way up high on a shelf and I'm only four foot eleven, is a haunted house themed journal book with a fence closure like actual latch fence is like a latch like this closure except it went this way and I have no idea what is even in here oh that's a bead um, and then I made a winter themed one it was it was blue and I it killed me to even get that way <laughs> get that way because I was like I am never gonna be able to make another one like that again I know it uh, and then I made a gingerbread house themed one uh, so sorry my uh, one of my daughters just came in here was like I'm doing this I'm like no you ain't get out Okay, so, since I can't find a little book, I'll tell you what, I cut these out of chipboard, and it's five and a half, here, I'm going to write it on here, because this is all going to be covered over anyway with stuff, five and a half, and this, all this is, it's, it's all about angles, super easy. So this is five and a half. Yeah, okay, it's coming back to me. It's been a while since I made this. And then I drew the line across here. And what I usually do is I usually split this down the middle. Split five and a half in half. And then I'll draw a line from here to here. The whole thing is... Let's see, from point to here. Well, let me use a ruler that actually can measure it. Yeah, I always post the lives to the YouTube channel. It will take a few hours to process. It's really, really bizarre. I haven't quite figured out why it does this. But if I have like a three hour live, it takes like five hours to process on TikTok. Then once it's processed, it literally takes like five minutes to download on my phone. Three hours. And I'm like, as slow as my phone is, I wouldn't think it would take that long or take that short of time. And then what I do is I have to upload it to YouTube, which takes like an hour to do because it's so long. And I'll post, I usually will put the date on there and I'll put TikTok Live, whatever the date is. So that, and then I'll write what we did in there and in the description I'll put the supplies list so that way I don't have to uh, uh, comment because I get a lot of comments on all social platforms and it's kind of hard to keep up with sometimes so I try to make it to where I don't have to keep up on it and it's all already there so yes I will upload this there One a.m. Oh my gosh! It's like my bedtime is one a.m. every night. <laughs> All right. So from tip to here is eight and a half. So when I'm measuring this, I usually it's just make it all symmetrical, really easy. And I'll probably do this book again. And then from here to here is four inches, and here to here is four inches, and that's how I cut it out. And I do the same thing. I do two of them. I also try to make sure that it's, you know, symmetrical. It makes it easier, especially to put paper and stuff on. Um, and then the spine. Let's see if I can find my book. I don't know about you guys, but my memory is so bad with all this stuff bouncing around in my head that I always have to write everything down. Because if I don't write it down, oh, I lose it. 
it's like a new spin on if you don't use it you lose it kind of thing but yeah I'm always so spastic and I lose everything so the spine I'm gonna let me look here usually I could look on a ruler it's probably two inches no it's not two inches I'm thinking it's an inch and a half from what I remember from the last book because it's usually it's about that big yep oh my gosh that's like exactly an inch and a half see that's that's how my brain works sorry <laughs> yeah it's chipboard it is I believe 50 point chipboard that I got off of Amazon and I think that this is my scraps chipboard box down there and I think it's I have it saved in journal supplies list five and a half and um, this is kind of on a whim so I hope you guys don't mind because I really want to make a house book now out of all that stuff But this is kind of, we're just kind of winging in it right now. I'm going to make this fine like one and a half. And it's going to be five and a half. Yep. I was just thinking. Um, these are the house books that I've made that have the little attic in them. And I put stuff in the little attic in the inside of the book. That's like my favorite thing to do because I like doing mixed media journals, journal books. And it just gives it something a little extra. I think there's quite a few of us on here that kind of uh, like doing all that cool stuff. <laughs> Do you guys hear her screaming down there? Oh my gosh, she's like, go! Gosh, kids, I'll tell you, it's been 10 years since we had a toddler in the house, and boy, she's a wily one. And she's going through a phase where she likes to call everybody honey, but she says it really funny. Okay, what I'll probably do is I'm gonna cover the cover with the uh, chipboard show you how I make the cover because I won't have time to do it all but I also don't want to just make a video on TikTok and then everybody's like well how did you do this how did you do that so I'll leave it and I won't touch it and I will do another TikTok live and that way I can show it on live. And then if you miss the live, you can go to my YouTube channel and rewatch it and rewind it and do all that good stuff. Because I like you guys being able to go back and rewatch stuff. Oh, that's adorable. This is going to be a really hard choice to choose because. I will probably add the ephemera to the front cover because I want it to look like a house, if that makes sense. But I don't want it to be a house on the cover. Yeah, that's Ruby, the little crazy lunatic. Yeah, if I don't talk, you can hear her just going dun, 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 downstairs. Sometimes when the mo the thing you want most is just a little quiet time, it never happens. 
And that's okay because that's that's how life is. I'm trying to decide what I want to do for the cover. The cover's not very big. It's only going to be like five and a half inches. And I do these books very similar to the other hardback books. So, oh, this is this is hard. I'm going to end up making like eight books out of this just so I could sit here and use like every single page on the cover. This would be actually kind of cute to put on the cover or on the back. The only problem is that I'd have to do it like where I could get it on there in a way. See if I did it like that it would be across the top up there and it would that actually would not be bad like on the back because then I would be able to fold the sides because I it, sorry I'm talking to myself I always leave um, a half an inch to an inch around each cover so that way imagine like a Christmas or a, like a gift and you're wrapping it that's what I'm gonna do except I'm not wrapping the whole entire thing I fold it over and then wrap it so that's kind of how I look at it and this is really cute too but I'm going to put this like probably this fencing stuff on the front I just have to find like see that would be adorable and then put the like a bird the birdhouse and can do window or window up here like that oh my god and then put door if it will fit in there kind of like that uh, let's see or I have to move it over so if I did something like it could even stick out like that but I don't really want it to just to make it look a little bit better. And I can put the door on the inside too. It doesn't have to be. I kind of like just the window there. Almost like it could be like the side of the house. And put the door on like the inside cover like this. So when you open it, it kind of looks like the front door. And then we can put the dog or cat or whatever chair and everything or the chair could go on the back cover and that I'm thinking out loud sorry <laughs> so and uh, yes no door on front but when you open it you know something like that I don't know we'll I'll, I'll we'll figure it out but I just need to see, I'm using this as a reference so I could see what to put. And I don't want it to be like humongous disproportional like this. That's kind of a weird thing with me. I gotta make it proportional. Can I also put one of these cards on whatever background I choose? Hang on, let me go back here. To the beginning to the beginning and here let me move this out of the way I'm gonna also do something like this make it home so this would be on here that actually might be good is put that on there home it's a little bit too light colored like as the background but it would work I can make it work What, uh, sub lap paper on front? Oh, yeah, wait a minute. Well, the, the only problem with that is it's white on the outside. It, this is a sticker on the back. Um, I'd have to cut it then attach it separately to do the window thing 
because of that. And then I would have to keep the sticker thing on the back or put it on a separate like a uh, sheet or something so it didn't stick. And that that which I don't mind doing that. That's fine. That is so. Oh, I like the back of that too. Could also put this, do something like that on the front. That actually would work too. And then when, if the top, see the top would be up here and you could put, I could put like the little stickered birds and stuff up at the top of the roof. So that's a maybe. That actually would work for the back. Or I could do this right here. Actually, this is hard. This is really hard. And then I can put, cut this out, put the home sweet home up here. That seems to be, sh I don't know what ship lap is. There's no ship. Oh, ship lap. Ship lap. Something like this I would use for the back of the book or the spine. Uh, that also. That one I think is way too big. This is super cute. These are all tags and stuff back here. Yeah. Those are all tags. Even this is cute for the back, but I don't want to mess up that. This is why they need like extra pages of this. It needs to be like a 20 pack all the time. Now we can have this page. You have two of each page. If I did the wood planks, I'm not doing that on the front. I would do that on the back. The back cover. For the front cover, I could actually, I can use something like this for the front cover and then use that for the back cover. It works just, just as fine. But I think this one I'm going to do for the front cover. And don't, don't worry because I can, I got like three or four of these paper pads so I can make more and experiment with it. And I think it will be good. We have to trust the process because, you know, this is how I this is how I decipher stuff. So I'm gonna put this on the front. Or see, I really want to use a window on the front. And I really want to use the little let me look. This will work right here. Let me see. If I put this on the front and put the little fence on the cover. Envision it with me. House, fence, you know, in here. Put a little birdhouse or whatever on there. And then I could put like extra little birds and stuff. And I am like a cat or dog or whatever. And I think that would be uh, really good because I really like it the outside of the house to look like the outside and I have another I think there's another white let's see where'd that go another yeah there's another white right here I think there's a few of those and then there's the brown and then we got the ones with the flowers on it and I can put those uh, that one on the back and it kind of me mesh well with the house. Okay, that's what I'm going to do. I, it's been decided. Alright, let me move this out of the way. Now, I have a weird process for doing this. What I usually do is I just kind of line it up where I kind of want it to go and then I take my cutter thing that I just lost somewhere put somewhere. Where did I put that? Oh, I buried it. And I kind of cut 
like a half an inch to an inch around this so that way I can do all the good folding stuff. And let me use this to kind of gauge that. At the point now where I gotta replace my blade. I've sharpened it too many times with aluminum foil and it, that's it. It's done. I know it's gonna start coming apart. And don't worry about this being like uber precise because as long as you get it wrapped around, it ain't gonna matter because we're gonna put a liner in there. All that good stuff. And remember to always use the glue runners on, see, this is why. On this chipboard, you do it on here. This one is 50 point and I had 55 point and I think I'm going to go back to 55 point because if you put the glue runner on here, sometimes they come right off. Like it like does that. And I never had a problem with that with the 55 point. I've only had a problem with that on the 50 point glue runner. What are you doing, Ella? No, I'm not. I will be, though, as soon as I'm done with this cover. No, I'm just dealing more. Ella Rose. Pretty. <laughs> what? Sorry. The 14-year-old just came in here to be nosy. I like being nosy. I know you like being nosy. And you're going to distract me, and then I'm going to end up messing something up. Yeah. Uh-oh, who's that? That's not... Kaylin, I think. Okay, I just wanted to make sure it wasn't crazy. Here, go close my door. Okay. Crazy town down there. Shacking like lunatic. Really? Ruby. Ruby. Sorry, guys. Okay. All right, so this, this is where the spine is going to go, so we want to leave that. I wasn't planning on doing this book tonight, but after I saw the paper, I was like, oh, I must make house book. Must do it. This is the part that gets a little bit tricky, but it's, it, trust me, it's not hard. We just need it to fold in. Like I said, it's the same kind of concept as the other books that I do that are just a regular rectangle shape. If you're going to stand here looking over my shoulder, you could tell me what everyone's saying. Okay, this way. It's been a while. I feel like it's been forever since I made a house book. The haunted house one was the last one you made, right? No, I made um, winter ones. Oh, that's right.
and it, remember they had the little attics in them the wintry attics I miss that blue one what I'm trying to figure out how to say that person's name I uh, don't Ella they can hear you y'all ignore her <laughs> I always forget to do these ones. I did the same exact thing every single time. I always forget about the top of the house. All right, that looks good. All right, so I'm gonna set this to the side. This is what this will look like, and then we'll get it. We'll get it worked out here. Where's the other one? There it is. Okay. Let me find. Let's see. We'll do the this one. I'm gonna do this one for the back and the spine. Right here. So this will be easy because one, it has lines, which is lovely. And then we can sit there and cut it. Always lose on the paper cutter. I have too much stuff. Do you think uh, your daddy would freak out if I told him I needed a new desk? <laughs> After just getting this one. <laughs> Read this person's comment. That's funny. What? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, some names are. Especially if they're foreign names. Ella. What? I know that, but let's let's not be rude because there could be rude. some people from another country on here who have a uh, unusual name. Okay. Oh my gosh, what is Ruby doing? I don't know. She's being mean. Why? She's like a wound up toy. Who, being mean to who? Not the dog again, is she? Everybody. <laughs> it's Maggie. Way. Maggie was asleep and she went, oh, so cute, and just laid on her. Oh, yeah, that's not unusual. Not one bit. When I you pronounce my name. Huh? My name is weird, but I'm Texan. <laughs> I'm reading the comments. That's I'm funny. glad you guys are keeping her entertained. <laughs> I love reading people's comments. That's funny. It's like the best part. I know. I wish that I, I need to... You need to steal Kayla's tablet again. I know. But I have to have another TikTok account in order to log on so I can actually read people's comments. Instead, just don't end my life. Instead of it... You know, just looking up once in a while, it's a lot easier. A lot easier. What I'll probably do is, since I did kind of two tutorials in this, I'm going to split it up so it makes it easier to find it on my YouTube channel. When I go to post it, I'll have like this house tutorial cover, and then I'll do the heart accordion book. 
um, separate. So that way everything's all nice and organized on there because I'm kind of chaotic when it comes to keeping stuff straight. Bella, am I in the camera? Mm -hmm. I kind of get in the zone and then I'll start drifting this way and everybody's like, where'd you go? And I'll be like, oh yeah. Because I don't work all the way out here. I usually work close up, so kind you of. always move the camera closer. No, it's at a good angle right here and I hate messing with it because it seems like every time I mess with it, the thing will go bonk, you know, or something like that. And I'm like, what is happening? Why are you doing this? I, this is this is like the third camera holder I've had to get because of some weird thing that it does that I don't like. I broke the first one and I like that How one. You break it? I don't. It it like was lean. It leans weird now because my I guess my phone was too heavy. Hmm. So after that, it just never. It would just keep leaning more and more this way, and I'm like, what are you doing? Weirdo thing. All right, so this is going to be the back, all right? We're getting there, okay? So we have front. Somebody front. asked if this book is gonna be in accordion style too. No, this is, we, we went off the rails and I got distracted by showing the new Stamperia Welcome Home paper because um, I knew everybody wanted to see it and I decided to, I, I couldn't help myself. I already made the uh, accordion one that I was going to make today. So, <laughs> so, so we're kind of went off the rails, but I'll split it up on YouTube. So that way it will not, um, it won't be mixed in. It will be separate. Sorry. That's, that's, I have ADD. And this is kind of how I roll. You should see when I'm here by myself. I say, okay, I'm going to get this done. I'm going to do this. And then all of a sudden, after I'm watching, you know, Secrets of the Morgue or something on Hulu, and I get distracted, and then I start doing something else, and I was like, what the heck was I doing? So, yeah. It's a thing? Secrets of the Morgue. Yeah, that's a good show. You can watch that show. Ooh, it's yeah. really cool. I'd rather you watch that than the first 48. What, is, it, is it like a documentary? Like the it's first like, 48? okay, first of all, Knoxville was on there. Do you know the body farm? Yeah. Yeah. They, oh, they had this one episode where they needed to know how, sorry guys, you got to hear this though. This is crazy. I, I live close to Knoxville and if you know Mama's Junk Journals, we live very close proximity to each other and stuff. So... Um, we have this place in Knoxville called the Body Farm. It's world famous, and it's a body farm. You can have your body donated to science and forensics and stuff. And I wanted to go to school to be a forensic pathologist. Hence the reason why I wanted to move up here to Tennessee, because I wanted to be close to that. So, <laughs> this, this episode on Hulu is called Secrets of the Morgue. It has like no language in it or anything like that. So if you're worried about kids or whatever, you know. That's rare for a show like that. I, yeah. And they talk about how forensics helped solve these cases that were basically going nowhere. Mm -hmm. So they took, they needed to know how long this woman had been, like when she passed away. And so they knew the time of the murder because they needed to pin it on this guy who was already in jail who sort of confessed to it and then kind of retracted his confession. So they were really sure that it was him, but they needed the time of death so that way they could say, yeah, you weren't in jail when that happened, you know. But they couldn't send him to jail for that because if he was already in jail. He was in jail for a different crime. Yeah, but that's they can add on. Him. They can add on to his sentence. Oh, so so anyways, right? So in order to do that, they borrowed a body from the body farm in Knoxville, 
and put it out in a field, okay? Put it out in a field, okay? No, I just want you to grasp that. They put it outside <laughs> for nature and everything else for three days to see how long it took for her body to start decomposing and things to get to it, like bugs and stuff. But can you imagine if you happen to wander up and say, hey, what's this? Oh, my gosh. Well, they probably had you it know? roped off. I'm sure they did, right, but... No but can you but it's like a science experiment and you're like let's go check on the body today <laughs> you know you show let's the one see if let let's see how rotten it got somebody yeah. wants to see the accordion book you did earlier oh you buried it oh yeah i did it's under all that stuff i put it over here so it wouldn't pop up see front back i did it really really quick template on it I probably would do it a lot more clean um, when I was am I in the camera no I'm not okay um, I would do it probably a lot more clean than I did it here but I just wanted to show you guys the basic concept real quick that's why they call it a body farm <laughs> yeah <laughs> no but uh, the body I didn't know they did that kind of experimenting okay when I was in college we got our body for anatomy class that we dissected from the body farm, and which uh, they do this thing here, and I can't even. They they do this thing where they put a backward ski mask on the um, uh, person's face, so it's a ski mask, and the open part is in the back of the head. And they do that so you can't see their identity. I'm like, dude, if you donated your body to the body farm, it identity's obsolete at that point. Where did you get those clips? What clips? The one that was holding our book together? I think. Yeah, okay. These are called skeleton binder clips. Because they don't have a body. <laughs> you know, they're... And speaking I, of bodies. I got, yeah, speaking of body, let's go back to the body farm. I got them on Amazon. And stuff. So, so yeah, that was when they said Knoxville, Tennessee. I'm like, what? <laughs> oh, I was like, what are they gonna do D with the body there? I thought they only used those for like classes and stuff, because that's what we use them for. You know, not putting it in a field to see and how long it decays. Blah. I just was sitting here thinking, oh my gosh, I couldn't imagine going out and checking on the body. I only knew about the body front farm from that one movie that you were watching about the football player and like his tutor was saying something about the bodies would come up and like devour him if he went to go play football for Tennessee. Oh I don't remember what movie The that Blind was. Side? Yes that Yeah. Yeah. Yeah yeah yeah. So anyways COVID nineteen embalming. I do what? COVID-19 involvement. Oh, my gosh. I, I couldn't even imagine how packed that place got. Uh, I've seen some crazy, crazy stuff. I'm friends with a lot of forensic people. And, man, all the autopsies and stuff, there's some weird... That COVID stuff has done really crazy stuff to people's bodies. Like, their blood is not, like, normal looking. It's black and stuff. If I'm grossing anybody out, I'm sorry, but I love this stuff. We have to see how long a body decayed in different ways for forensic science class. I love awesome. forensics. Yeah, that is pretty cool. I love watching, uh, what was it? The first 48 Homicide Squad. Me and Dad have watched that entire show. That I told cool. him not to let you watch that show. What? And he did anyway, because you're a little bit morbid as a kid. I just like that show. Interesting. Your grandpa's gonna... no help. He watches the same stuff. Oh, Lord. And grandma gets on to him all the time. He doesn't watch it with all them kids there, No, nah, he? he watches it, like, after dinner. Oh. We all sit down, eat popcorn, watch. I'm watching the first 48 right now because I watched all, like, 20-something episodes of Secrets of the Morgue. And I was like, aww. I know. The Homicide Squad one that we watched... Uh, it was only like five episodes long, but they were like an hour long each. Mm-hmm. Go watch world premiere 
died suddenly. Seriously, it's about the COVID shot and it's no BS. <laughs> oh, that, that stuff is so bad. See, okay, I don't mind vaccines. I'm going to get a little bit, uh, like, probably make people mad. I don't know. I don't mind vaccines. I vaccinate my children. I personally can't get them because I have been allergic to stuff in them since I was a baby. So I have not been vaccinated for anything since infanthood when I had an allergic reaction. And I have the best immune system in this house. Yeah, really. I never get sick. And even if I get sick, it's like doesn't really warrant a doctor's visit at all. But I also turn into a big germaphobe because I don't want to get sick. Like, the only time I've ever seen you go to the doctors for something was recently when you... When had I had that call. asthma... Yeah, I had an asthma attack issue. They put them out in different situations to document how the elements affect the decay. Ooh, that's interesting. I don't get a vaccine... Unless I know it's safe and been out for years. Yes, I agree with that. I mean, all the vaccines that kids get, like, you know, pertussis and stuff, whooping cough, all of those, they've been out for like 30 plus years. But I ain't being no freaking guinea pig. And have it, I've heard there's so many people who have had so many problems with them and people dropping dead because it's causing blood clots and stuff i don't need any more issues so yeah i i i'll let the first wave of people go ahead and get it and then i'll just sit back and watch what happens and then in five years from now though you'll see all those commercials on tv if you or your loved one was injured by the covid vaccine please <laughs> call blah 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 what and tool do you use to flatten the edge it's a, it's a, a boning a knife, a boning knife. It's, it's an old cricket one. And I liked it so much that I kept it, but they come in, I have one right here. They're like, uh, come with scoring boards and stuff, but these work really great. You can also find them with leather kits and book binding kits. They call it a bone folder. A bone what? Folder. Yeah, that too. Everybody always picks on me because every time I come on live and I pick it up, I'm like, I can't ever remember what this thing is called. And everybody's like, it's a bone knife. Yeah, everybody's saying bone folder. Are you yeah. Still live? Yeah. Yeah, we kind of went off the rails a little bit. That's what I was. I'm not sure who you were talking to or. Me and Ella are kind of talking. I'm reading the comments. I'm being helpful. Okay. Yeah. You want to come and join in the conversation, too? Bedtime baby. Well, tell baby doll I say goodnight, and you can actually have her come a in letter here. Letter opener. <laughs> yeah, a letter yeah, opener. Her, that works, too. Where she got her PJs on, I'll bring her in. All right. That's fine. I'm just starting this. I'm going to make this cover, um, if anybody has just joined. I'm just putting this cover together, and then I promise I won't touch it. And I'll show you how I do all the binding and sew in the signatures and stuff. And then we'll make the little attic, which is fun. I like all that. That's where my mixed media stuff comes in. I kind of like to add that kind of stuff to it. Making books is fun and everything, but if you can add just, um, if you can add in some mixed media elements to it, I don't know, it just makes it, makes you stop and go, ooh. I like a after school special. <laughs> Making books is fun. <laughs> Shut up. Get the book COVID Operation. What happened? Why it happened? And what's next? And we got Pretty on. We were talking about the body farm. I have no idea how we even got on this subject. But we were talking about the body <laughs> yeah, the farm. Concerned. No, and no. now we're talking about COVID and vaccines. Watch Jordan Peterson interview on COVID-19 vaccine. Everything you need to know. Okay, my husband said Jordan B. Peterson. Jordan B. Peterson. Watch Jordan B. Peterson on the vaccine and you'll know everything you need and to know. And the what? Origins of COVID. And the orange. Oh well we all know where that came from. Dude, I wouldn't even get the vaccine anyway, just on based on what Jace experienced. Like his whole Your arm went numb. 
Oh, yeah. And he couldn't play football at all. That's not uncommon with vaccines, but that, it seems a bit extreme with this one. In the heart. Somebody said they saw that interview. Yeah. He also did one on climate change and overpopulation that I, I've watched in the last few days. Both excellent. Climate change and overpopulation. I it bet goes you that way one. after a few days. Sometimes. My husband was forced to get the first one. Uh, just the first one, and he didn't get the booster, and he had a bad reaction to Look, it. Jace was too. He said he had the same thing that Dad did. Yeah, because and and then they didn't make my husband get it done because he worked at home. He had been working at home since like 2019, and they were like, he was like, why do I have to get it if I'm not even in the office? That's stupid. That was stupid. It was. And he did, didn't he? He had a yeah. bad reaction. He could barely lift his arm. Mm-hmm. Here he has a bad reaction to the dog. I don't dog. care what they said. That's not normal. No. The lady was so calm, too. When he called in, she was just like, oh, it's just COVID arm. It'll go away in a few days. And he's like, my arm is numb. It, what do you it, His was like that for, like, bad. two weeks, I think. And I'm like, I think you need to call the doctor. Your arm's going to fall off, and then you're going to drop dead. <laughs> I'm so dramatic, though. Somebody asked what you're making. I'm making a book, a house-shaped book. Come here, Ruby. All right. Y'all excuse hey, my little toddler here for just a second. Let me glue this down. That way I can give her night-night hey, no, 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 love. She's having a bunch of squirrel moments on the way. Oh, yeah. She found the scoops. She Say loves hi. my hi. journal. the journal scoops. She loves, loves messing the with that. Phone. Be careful, mommy. What? Said, be careful. I'll be careful. Look at her shirt. What's her shirt say? Mama knows best. Yeah, mama does know best. I like your little doggy. Hang on, I'm gonna move this real quick. Do you want me to? Here. Just when she's ready, you prepare to bring her in. Say hi. hi. Look up at that camera. Hi. Yeah. Oh, this is so cute. I'm gonna crash. This is the headphone. That's the headphone. It's she's, your headphone. Oh, she's telling you guys what's up. Look, future TikToker right here. Hmm. All right. Here, I'm going to move. I'm going to let you go to Ella. Come on, baby. That's candy. No, That's it's not, not candy. candy. Yes, it is. <laughs> no, it ain't. She thinks everything. Sorry, guys. I didn't mean to take you on a roller coaster here. Two-year-olds are so cute. <laughs> Some are until so. they have a temper tantrum. Are we good there? Everybody good? All right. Say night night. Night night. Love you. Love you. You have good sleep, okay? Oh, what oh. on earth? She's sitting here rubbing my face. Hey, give me a kiss. Uh, Love you. Why can't you act like this all the time? Yeah. You sweet baby. <laughs> Whole lot of cuteness going on there. I know. She can be mean, though. Yeah. Oh gosh. This is our first child who has ever thrown a temper tantrum. Like literal like the ones you see like you only hear about where they throw themselves on the ground and just kick and scream. This is the first one. She's never <laughs> She's done it actor. out in pu in public because I would come unglued if she did. Um she but better. anytime we look at her, we just stare at her and we're like are you done? Because that's just a little bit too much. And so she's our, our new bag of tricks. They say these COVID kids are special breed in themselves. Man, they ain't kidding. No. Because they just like, the babies born during COVID are just a weird weirdo kids. Wait until she reaches 12. Yeah. yeah oh imagine. God, we're dealing with the twelve-year-old right now. Oh my gosh. Yes. <laughs> She's actually probably. It's hard dealing with that one. Probably more so than the baby. You know. Going through it now with my fourteen-year-old daughter. Oh gosh. I. Uh, you know, I was scared first time having a teenager with the oldest. But when she became a teenager, she, like, completely changed, and she mellowed out. And I was, like, holding my breath, waiting for the the mood swings and everything, and she didn't, she didn't do nothing. Tantrum. 
Uh, she only has her little moments once in a while, but then her mama puts her back in place. and be like, let me tell you something. You don't know attitude until you talk to me. And you don't talk to me with no attitude because I will wear you out. I was like, so check yourself before you wreck yourself. How many yourself. kids do you have? I have four. Four girls. Well, Dada and the dog are kind of like... Daddy is not my child. His, <laughs> he acts like him. Your mama can take him back and retrain him. I am not his mama. But yes, he acts like a big kid sometimes. He kind of has to or he would go insane in this house. Preach. <laughs> What's that J-Lo song? I ain't your mama. Oh, yeah. Don't come back to me. I ain't your mama. That's, that song, that's completely no. Ain't happening. Okay, so I am shocked I even was able to do this while talking. But this is what the house book starts to look like. We got the spine. I usually do uh, two signature groups. And then I will put one hole here, 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 here. I leave this kind of open because I always like to embellish it with something. And then I put a hole here, 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 and here. Also, what I do is I put the roof on, and when I attach the roof, it will be hooked to this part only, and then this line that goes across here is where the little attic space, so it's kind of going to be kind of divided like this, and I usually cut the chipboard down, because then when you close it like this, the only part, this will all be sealed in, <gasps> I'm going to use that brown paper that um, that one chick suggested for the roof. Sorry, I got distracted. And then, so all of this will be sealed in. And then you'll just see the paper here. Then when you open it, there will be a little attic up here. And with the attic, um, I usually like to add mixed media stuff in it. When I did the winter bless one, <laughs> bless you. When I did the winter one, I had a little reindeer in there, and I had snow and little pine trees and stuff like that. And so I also put a liner in here, and I put, I got glue all over me. And I will put, this will all be covered over with page, page liner. And as you can see, it's even drying pretty good right now. Oh. And I guess I should mention, I use Crafter's Pick Ultimate, but I put it in these icing bottles. This is the best stuff I have found for binding books. You can use beacons, but I feel like it doesn't dry quick enough, and it can shift. And I like something that kind of dries quick. I also make my books this way because they lay flat. That's I have, I have a lot of people ask me that. Why do you do it this way? Why do you do it this way? I've experimented, and this is what I feel like works the best. Somebody asks, where do you get your chipboard and plank looking paper? Would be awesome. What, what kind of paper? Oh, this, plank. this, this is, this is like planking boards. Mm. You know, like chip mm -hmm. planks. Um, I sell Stamperia paper in my Etsy shop. This is a brand new paper pack I just added this afternoon. And it's called the Welcome Home. It's a brand new collection that just came out. Um, and I just added it all to my Etsy shop. I'm, an, I'm a distributor for Stamperia. So that's why I always got the good paper and everything. But this is what it looks like. It looks pretty tricky to me, but it's so awesome. It's not hard. Same here. I, I promise it is not hard. It's if you can draw a square and a triangle, you're you're good. The chipboard is from Amazon. It's 50 point. I really recommend 55 point, but this works. And the 55 point, the only reason I say that is because sometimes when you're using a glue runner on it, it will kind of start peeling off. And especially with me, I'm like quick with it and I just I don't know I just the 55 you think it wouldn't make much of a difference but it does 
I noticed, I noticed a big difference between the 50 and the 55. If you can't find the 55, 50 will work. I use, I've used 50 for a while. The 50 is cheaper than the 55. I think I got 25 sheets in the 55 and it was like $25. It was expensive. This one was like 100 sheets for like the same price. So that's why I was like, <laughs> I plan on making a lot of books, so I'll use this and I'll describe about it later, if that makes sense. But see, this is this is the problem I have, is it kind of flakes off. And this ain't a big deal because I'm going to layer this and cover it. I add lots of layers to it. So, yeah. And I have to measure this. I can't find my little notes. I have my notes somewhere. And it's been like since December, like sometime in December when I made this. The roof is four inches this way and this way. You can't, you can make one side four inches, but when you, that which is fine. But when you go to make this other side, you can't make it four inches. It's got to be a little less or you're going to run right into this. And then I put a piece here, what I'll do is I'll always wrap it first and make sure it fits in. Think about puzzle pieces. But I have to cut it down uh, this way first because I need the, uh, when we go to close it, we want it to be leveled like that. And since it's only an inch and a half here, we're going to make it a little bit less than an inch and a half for that middle part here if that's making sense. You have to kind of visualize it a little. But that's one thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to measure that out real quick. Let's see if I can get this part done. And uh, can you go close that door, Ella? Probably not. He's, I, I don't know if you guys can hear, my husband's reading Ruby a book. And he does voices, but he's loud. He'd be like the most entertaining audible reader ever. Until he uses long I words. Ha! <laughs> 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 I always pick on him because he's so hillbilly sounding because he's from Tennessee. Oh, Stacy's worse. Oh, yeah. he. Is, but I think he puts on most of that. Mammal said the same thing. He does. He sounds like real hick. Oh, thank you. I'm having trouble with getting my journals to be flat and not shift, so we'll switch to chipboard. Yeah, it also depends on how you are binding them. I put the um, the spine, I don't do the spine on the outside, like the flaps. I do them in the inside right here. I do it this way because they lay flatter and they don't start doing this. Because when you put them on the outside, they kind of have a tendency to kind of hug it like this. And they'll stay like this. And I didn't like that, so I'm like, let me try putting it in the inside. And when I put it in the inside, it will not tear. And let me tell you why. I put a liner over this part, more paper over this, over here. Then I put an extra piece over this. I actually put an extra piece over this first and then put one over here and one over here. So now this piece that's flapped over will be in between, sandwiched in between pieces. Then, on the outside of the book, I always put ribbon on the edges here and here. I let it dry, like, completely overnight. And then I have had zero problems with it tearing. I also will fill in right in here in the gaps when I'm putting it in. I put the Crafter's Pick Ultimate. And, man, it holds that sucker in there good. I haven't... I And I've dropped like some of my books on the floor and almost had a heart attack because I'm like, oh my God, it's ruined. It's over. Everything's over. I'm finished. And I looked at it and it didn't even make a scratch on it. And I'm like, man, you were built like tough. So I, I've experimented with it several times and that's why I do that because I hate when my books won't lay flat. Kind of drives me crazy. 
I'm also going to put a tie, um, a ribbon in the inside cover so that way I can tie it closed. Um, I would put a little fence closure, but I'm already putting a fence on the cover, so I don't want to like overkill with that. It kind of wouldn't look right. But I can do that on a, another book. Is that a glass plate? Yep. And you can just like cut things on it? Yeah. That's what it's for. That's why it's all scratched up. I, I, that's, that's what they make it for. Dangerous. No, it actually works pretty good. I like it. Okay. So before I even think about covering this over, this is going to lay kind of on, on the sides here. So when it is, I know it looks kind of crazy, but this is like, the process. Okay. So it's going to be like this because we want it to kind of lay flat. Then when the middle one is in here, I'm going to make it to where it will lay like this. I'm just kind of estimating. So then when the book is closed, this will be covered over, this will be covered over, and then when you open it, you'll have your little attic space in here. This is for this side. And you can't make the roof. I The first time I did this, I made the roof kind of hang off like this. And you can't do that over here. Because if you do it over here, you can't open the book. That's why I don't do that anymore. I just make it go flush with that. So I'm going to make this one just a hair shorter. I don't have the strength to cut it and bind a scrapbook. <laughs> I don't have the patience. It's not that bad. Like, I could have probably had it done already, but I'm just, I'm trying to answer everybody's questions. We're going to make that a hair less. The other book that I just finished, the Imagine book, uh, somebody asked me, if I wasn't on live, how long would it take me to make that? And I said 45 minutes. And, like, the whole binding, the cover, everything, like, 45 minutes. And it's just, when you make one, you you kind of get used to it. And it, it just kind of comes, you could, it's like muscle memory almost now. But, yeah. And when you're watching serial killer documentaries and forensic stuff, it goes by a lot quicker for some reason. Or listening to music. Uh, music doesn't, because you know how I like to dance and stuff. Oh, yeah, belt. <laughs> yeah, and belt. I belt and dance and do all that stuff. And, uh... So, it, uh... It will sit Seriously, there. I was going to smack you yesterday if you started singing in the doctor's office. <laughs> yeah, we were we were at a doctor's appointment yesterday, and I swear in every room that we went, or waiting room we went into, they were either playing, like, Finding Nemo or The Little Mermaid. And I love The Little Mermaid. So, it was, and then they came to part of your world part, and I was like, oh, God, it's so hard. I got to, I got to belt it out. And Ella here was like, don't you dare. So, yeah. I haven't, like, watched that movie in a few years. And watching it now, that's a terrible movie. <laughs> it, I can understand so why her bad. dad was so mad at her. I'd be mad, too. I'll but even, like, Ursula alone. Jeez. Yep. Okay. Let me, I'm going to look at, yeah, that's right. This one's shorter. Hold on, I'm measuring something real quick. How did I get shorter on that? Wait a second. Okay. 
It's the same thickness. Somebody said hello. Who is it? Michelle something or other. Oh, hey. <laughs> I usually recognize people uh, not really so much by their name, but by their picture. Mm -hmm. So if you guys change the picture on me, I'm going to be like, what happened? I'm a creature of habit. If I start now, I can do a book for each of my nine grandbabies for Christmas 2023. <laughs> oh, you mean Christmas of this year? Yeah. 2023. Oh, I didn't hear that. I didn't hear the 2023 part. Well, it's never, never too late to start. Yeah, I like that better. I wanted to make this a little bit a hair longer because I wanted it to not be all the way on the edge. Where's that one I just cut? That one, the longer one? Yeah. All right. This is why I need to find my little note cards. I have that crafting log book thing too. Oh, it's so terrible. I just don't. So you have like a whole crafting recipe for these? Yeah, there's recipes for crafting books. But it's like a log book. And you can put in there what is you what. You crafting. All I thought about was Minecraft. It's like the first thing. I'm sure you did. Alright, there we go. Okay, so these two are going to go here. Alright, now the one. Alright, let's see if I can domino it and hold it up. There we go. Then this one, this, let me see what this measures. I usually don't have, this is why I have my crafting book. See, this one is going to be cut down because we don't want it to stick up. And it's got to, it's probably, I would say, maybe about an eighth of an inch. And then it's going to be five and a half, okay. All right. Don't say nothing because I'll forget. <laughs> All right, here we go. So it was one and a half, so we're gonna take off about an eighth of an inch. So this will make about like one and, what is that, seven eighths? I freaking hate fractions. It's the only thing in math that I am terrible at. I like math and I love algebra, but when it comes to fractions, I have to ask my husband, what is what's like this recipe times three because i just can't think of it it probably just punches it in like what is three fourths times three if i'm tripling the recipe and i'm just dumb i just can't sit there I don't and know, think. I can't think of that either no you know and he just belts it out he you know he's a walking calculator yeah pretty much all right, we'll make this a hair shorter than five and a half because it's going in between. Am I in the camera, Ella? Yeah. Okay. Is my head? No. Okay, good. I do that a lot. I put my big old melon head in the way. All right. Well, that's where the pencil sharp now is. One of them, yeah. I brought it in here. I kept having to go downstairs to go sharpen a pencil. Well, that's the better one, so. That's why I brought it in here. Lily really unplugged the other one downstairs at Christmas time and is too lazy to plug it back in, so she's been using a handheld one. Isn't it right next to her? No, it's like on the shelf. She moved it so we could have Christmas dinner and then oh. never wanted to put it back. That sounds about right. Okay, let's see. So, this is going to go across here. I hope these were the two. I mixed them all in again, didn't I? Somebody asked if you're going to post this live on YouTube. Yes, I am. I'm going to split it up because I did two different tutorials in this live. This is kind of like spontaneous on a whim kind of thing and I'm doing it without my notes so 
it should be really fun, <laughs> you know, <laughs> as long as I don't mess it up. Let's see. I mixed up my my things here. I have to see which ones are the right ones. It's going to be these two. I don't know why. Just don't put the scrap pieces over here. Like, get out of the way. You need, like, a little bucket for that. I, I do have a bucket. I just don't use it. You know what I do? I leave the mess, and then I'm like, oh, I'll clean it up later. And then... Next live. And oh, then crap, we got to clean this up. That I do that. Every single live I do, I spend, like, 30 minutes in here cleaning up my desk. So that's how the attic is going to be. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to wrap these individually with the matching paper, and then I'm going to stick them on there. So, after I do the liners. But that, and that way I can get that out of the way. And here I have some extra scraps. What kind of journal are you making? Sorry, I just got here. I'm making a house one, house shaped one. Oh, that's right. I'm going to do the roof in this brown color. I'm going to try not to mess up this picture on the other side because I like it. So I'm going to use this and this will be the roof. I've made these before but I don't know where my notes are and so I'm kind of wing dinging it right now and kind of like okay I kind of remember this. I, it's been like since Christmas. I'm just doing my what? I'm looking for my cutter. Oh. <laughs> I know it's right here in front of my face. I made I made a couple of these in the winter time. I made a winter themed one, and then I made a gingerbread house one. So now. Um, making an actual wobbly gobbling thing. <laughs> yeah, if you have a funny name or, or is that a username? Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you have a funny name, she will say something. Just to, just know that she's not meaning anything by it. She's just being amused by your creativity. I'm going to keep that home sweet home thing because that will come in handy. Oh, that, see, this is going to be the roof, and this is how it's going to look. So now it kind of looks like shingles. I did that on accident, too. <laughs> That's going to be probably the inside, too, on this. I'm trying not to hack up the picture because I really like it. But if I do, my goodness, I just open up another pad of paper then. Such a tragedy. But this should work. There we go. So I'll be just... Yeah. But this is... You guys are witnessing my process right here. This is what how I am. I don't talk to myself though. That would be weird. I do sometimes and I answer myself. But whenever I'm deciding to create a book, I kind of just roll with it, run out of tape. Have a spare. I'd like to see that one guy who does all the loading videos, oh, like for the like video Call game. Of Duty, yeah, uh, he needs to do a tape yes. runner thing. That would be funny. Ah, I'm on the wrong side again. See, this is why I hate this chipboard. I talk to myself in my journal all the time. Oh, well, I do. I'm like, what were you thinking? Seriously, that's not good. We can do better. So I did that one time and I forgot Daddy was in here, and he's like, huh? And I was like, nothing. <laughs> he was listening to like an audio book so he couldn't hear me. 
And then I was like, oh, gosh, he's in here. I was like, you scared the bejesus out of me. I didn't know you were in here. I don't, like, talk to myself. I've woken myself up by, like, sleep talking before. Like, that I did. was weird. I was giggling in the, <laughs> the middle of the night, and I woke myself up. I don't remember why oh, I was dreaming about it. Speaking of sleep talking, I was up at, like, 1 in the morning the other last night because Lily left the door open. Uh-huh. And I went to go close it, and then Lily yelled, No! Don't do that! <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> and she was asleep. Oh, yeah. I, I believe like, it. What? I kept hearing she noises and uh, when we had our door open. I was like, I think the girl's door is open because I hear the fan in there. Oh, yeah. Dude, it was so hot last night. Oh, yeah. Daddy said you guys probably got hot and that's why you guys had it. If the door's open and the light from the hallway, I cannot sleep with that on. So I was up for like two hours because Lily wouldn't let me turn it well, off. Well, if it's too... What? What light? Like the, the little outlet. Oh. Whoa. Light. Well, if it gets too hot, all you gotta do is... I usually just crack a window and then shut it in the morning, but... Just ask us, we'll adjust it. I usually try to leave... Well, this is 1 in the morning, so I didn't really want to come in here at 1 in the morning. Oh, no, I would have not been very happy about that. Ah, look at that. Look! It fit perfectly. I like it when that happens. I get glue on my finger all the time. Perfect. What type of glue is that? It's Crafter's Pick Ultimate. I put it in these icing bottles, which I do have saved in my journal supplies list because I can't ever remember what they're called. And this is Beacons 3-in-1, and you don't have to have a cap, and it doesn't do that gurgly back-talking thing that it always yeah. does. And it works perfectly, and it doesn't dry out. And I put them in there, and they've worked ever since. Aisha was the one who told me about that, um, and I was like, oh, that works great. I love it. So there we go. There's one side of the roof. And when I post this to YouTube, I always put the supplies list in the bottom because... So, like, when if she wasn't in here, I probably would not see your comment. Because even when you replay it, I can't see any of the comments. So, I have no idea what was said. Y'all could be talking about me, and I wouldn't know. <laughs> not at all. Unless I look up. No, no, no. And so, it kind of looks a little weird when it's on my YouTube page. Because everybody's like, who are you talking to? And I'm like, it's just... The people were on there with me live. They just don't show the comments. That's stupid. They should show the comments. Well, yeah, because then maybe somebody asked something important. Or and maybe then the... somebody just wanted to see the comments. Yeah, I guess. I don't know. I get, I get asked some pretty crazy stuff sometimes. I, I actually posted a tutorial... And somebody asked me if I could do a tutorial on what I made in the tutorial. And I was like, uh, what? This is a tutorial. I told them, this is a tutorial. I guess oh. Clear enough. I mean, it's, it kind of hints to it in the title. You're a brat kid. Hmm? You're a brat kid. What? She didn't want to go to bed? Of course not. No. About everything. I bet. I'm just finishing up this one little part and then I'm going to call it quits because I got about a ton of Etsy orders to fill and I am not a procrastinator when it comes to shipping them out. I hate having that way over me. And I'd rather ship them out at once. And I have an awesome mail lady who leaves me a bin <laughs> every day. Oop, oop, let me do this. 
So that way I can put them in there and then she picks them up. She's so reliable, I like it. She always said something to me. Oh, the pretty pink boxes. And what I'll do is, like I said, I won't touch the book. And I will get back on live. Maybe on Friday, because Friday would be a good day. Same time. I don't want to be on there too late, or not too early. Just depends on what time everybody gets done with school. And finish it up, bind it, <coughs> make some cool stuff for the little attic in the inside. Oh my gosh, I just had a... You know what would be cute is like little miniature like rocking chair or bed or something like that to put in the little attic in the inside. Mm -hmm. That would be super cute. I love that. How do you attach those pieces? The, these? Oh, these? Oh. Just you wait. I'll show you here in a second. That kind of sounds creepy. Just you wait. Well, it's not like I'm... Um, being a serial killer or anything. I'm just sitting here getting paper stuck to my fingers. Are you getting sticky? Sometimes. <laughs> I, I try to rub them together to get the glue off my fingers because I don't like things stuck to my hand because mm -hmm. it, it like makes me start panicking. Especially if it's something really clingy that you can't get off. I, I do. I don't like messing with dough or anything like that because of it. Kind of drives me nuts. But now I'm just going to use glue. And then I usually, I'm telling you, the Crafters Pick Ultimate stuff dries quick. And it's, it holds really, really well. Hang on, i got to get all this stuff out of my way. I just started making these because I came across to your TikTok. Oh, well, that's awesome. Are you talking about the house or just the books in general? Probably the books. I'm asking them, not you, I'm Ella. I'm saying. <laughs> Probably the books. Uh, yeah, see, she said the books. The books. Well, that's good. I'm trying to decide. I think I'm going to use this because this is like the flooring to the inside. I'm going to have a piece in there. I want to just use this. Oh my god. Does that show perfectly? Yeah, it fits perfect. Oh Don't y'all love it when a plan comes together? That's, that's bliss right there. Let me make sure I don't cut it too short. I'm just going to put this, uh, let's see, that flips over. This is going to be in the inside, so it doesn't really matter what's on it because it's going to be covered over with stuff anyway. Because I like to add little pieces of mixed media stuff. What would be, like I said, what would be cool is if you could do, like, little mini furniture, like miniature furniture, and put it here in the inside, or, like, little bird hat, or, like, the outside. I don't know yet. I'll have to, I'll have to think about it. I'll probably, if you see me staring off, then that's what I'm doing. I'm thinking. I'm, I'm always planning. And then I start twitching because I can't come upstairs and start working. And I wanna I wanna get it out of my head before I envision how I want a book to look. And until I get it out of my head, I have very, very sleepless nights. I like using uh these though because they kind of squish all the glue out so if there's any extra in there and it makes it all nice and 
flat. I may put an extra piece just over it, just to cover it a little bit more. It's a little bit too toned for me. Uh, oh, there it is. I swear, you think as big as this paper trimmer thing is, I wouldn't you lose it. You put it in the same place. I know. <laughs> I don't know why. I always lose it. Always. I end up burying it. That's why. Uh, yep, yeah, it's a little bit too big. I do end up burying it, and then I'm like, where'd you go? I was going to tell you there's a bench over there that you could sit on if you wanted. I didn't want to move your stuff, so. <laughs> yeah, I have a lot of stuff over there. I'm just scared it's going to fall on me, so. Sometimes I'm scared of that, too. Three wild dogs. Interesting, right? Three wild dogs. What are you talking about? Is that somebody's, That's somebody's name? name? That's interesting. Also, I use the beacons three and one when I'm doing paper on paper like this. Because, like I said, this is going to be on the inside. This is the only consuming part of this book when you don't have your notes. Is making the little attic part. So, when the attic goes in, it will be like, let me make sure I have them the right way. It'll be like this on without allies word and god if you pass gas near no, me. No, it's him. Uh oh. No one. Don't even lie. I it don't, was you. I will slap you if you do that near me. You know how much I hate Where that. Where did you find that glue bottle? <laughs> That's an icing bottle. I, it's an icing bottle. And I found Genius. it on Amazon. I have it saved on my journal supply list because I don't remember what the brand is called. Um, yep. But it was suggested. That's not the brand. I thought that was the brand and I told somebody that. And then they were like, that's not what it's called. And I'm like, okay, I didn't know. <laughs> you know. I was like, I, I just Why followed it the there? link. It's not the brand. I don't know. Because it, I don't know actually. I just followed the link to what uh, uh, Aisha told me. She said, go here and get these bottles. And then these, those, uh, what's it called? They don't gurgle anymore. Whoa! I'm losing scraps of paper. They're falling out everywhere. Okay, I think I'm going to do a flowery inside like that for the liner. And that way I can attach the... You can find them at Mitchell's or Michael's. Michael's? Does it have a T in it? No. <laughs> then know. it's not Mitchell's. What's wrong with you? Actually, I'm going to use this. I'm going to use the cover one. I usually use whatever is here on the cover if it doesn't have like tags and stuff. Um, so that way I can use it and not have to deal with the uh, wastefulness. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do the spine area because I want the pay the cover liners to go over that. So, here's the cutter that I almost buried again. It's an inch and a half with some room to spare. So I'm going to make it probably about. Let me see. I'm going to make it about four inches to go all the way across. What do you 
Four Girls Stole My Heart, LLC. And what? How big is this? This is... other pieces in sections here because of their weird angle. Let's see what we got. Uh, let's see, five and a half. I'm going to do a five and a half square. Alright, talking to myself. Do it right to there. Pay attention to my unorthodox cutting, but it works. So then I have those, and I'm going to cut those down. way. So, there you go. This is going to be this top part. Seems strained. Okay, so this is going to go, probably put this in first, just like this. Okay, just to kind of cover in the roof area. And then this will go probably over that and then I'll have another one that probably goes over this just to layer it a little bit and give it that liner in the inside which looks a little tiny bit crooked but that's okay This one more this. Okay, so this is gonna be right here. What are you making? It's a house journal book. Ella, you can tell them what I'm making. I don't like Look, anything. Like looks like a Superman symbol. I was thinking more of a diamond. Well, a diamond, Superman, whichever. I don't like Superman. Why? I don't know. He's just really weird. I don't really like DC. Yeah, Marvel kind of took over that, didn't they? So, Marvel is Okay, got those. And then... Thank you, I found your link. For the glue bottle. Oh, good. Wasn't quite sure what that was actually called. All right, let me find another piece of paper. that I actually 
I don't like a picture of the cat. Why? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> they just always use cats with everything. They don't have a dog once in a while. No, I prefer dogs. <clears throat> I don't think that. You're, you're more of a cat person. Really? I think so. I don't really like cats that much. I'd prefer a dog. Yeah, right. I mean, I tolerate them. I don't mind them. Um, I like pugs, so that's why I have one. I like the really fat ones. No, I don't want a fat pug. I like having a healthy pug. <laughs> <laughs> because then when we go to the vet, the vet's always telling me, Oh my gosh, she's so healthy. I wish I could take a picture of her and hang it up and say, This is what your pug is supposed to look like. <laughs> And I'm like, okay. I was like, it's not my fault she doesn't overeat. She does like cookies and stuff. She just doesn't let it get to her. All right, so this is five and a half this way. Make a little less than that. Put this, yeah. All right. I got the book over here, so I'm sitting here uh, cutting all the pieces and then put the liners on, and then we'll be good. All right, let me move this. Now I'm going to move it somewhere where I really can't find it. Okay, I chose blue. Alrighty, here we go. So, first thing first, or I might cut myself with that one of these days if I'm leaving it open. Then we're going to put the middle one in because we want the page. What? <laughs> what? I had to sneeze. Oh, I thought you were laughing at me. No, I had to sneeze. See, if Kayla was in here, she'd be giggling the whole entire time. And no, I'd be like, what? She's such a jerk. <laughs> she's not a jerk. She's she just a can't jerk. control That's herself. That's why I feel like we can never have like a YouTube channel like me and her because she'd be dying the entire time. Yeah, she would. She doesn't have any self-control. None whatsoever. Okay, so this is going to go here like this. And don't worry about these because, like I said, we're decorating all this. And this is what we're doing. Or forget. Because I don't want to write all over the paper. I'm going to do this instead. Okay. Spine holds. Uh, I know some people have a template, but since my books are never the same, I don't. And I'm just like, it's just easier to measure it. So, let's see. One and a half. So, we're going to split it. Here's the middle. But we're only doing two signatures. So, I'm going to put probably one a quarter of the way here. One the quarter of the way here. Ignore the middle mark because I'm just... Can you see that in there? Mm. Yeah. Not really. Alright. So, measuring a quarter from here to here. Since I'm only doing two signatures, this is where they're going. Could probably do more than a quarter. Let me look at this. I have to look at, I think I'm going to do a little bit more than that. Do it right here. Like I said, I can't find my notes, so I'm going to guesstimate in here. Let me erase these, because I don't want them too close to the edge. And if they're right here, I'm going to see what the line looks like. That's the only way that I can gauge how I'm going to put this. So here's quarter, 
right here. We can see which marks are made again. I'm always so used to doing the three signatures that whenever I have to go to two or five, it kind of throws me off a little bit. I could do three in this one, but it's a little bit much. Are you the one that makes the flowers? What kind of flowers? I've made flowers. <coughs> what kind of flowers? Mm -hmm. Like pop-up flowers? Like the 3D pop-up flowers? Paper flowers. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I just think about. Um, I've I've made like three D pop up flowers. I've made lots of flower things. I made books, and the journal inserts and stuff like that. So it just depends on. Guess what? I don't know. I've, I've made so much stuff in the last year that I can't even keep stuff straight anymore. I mean, one, two, three, one, two, three. I'm not really, um, I'm doing this. This whole thing is five and a half length. And I'm marking it at five, four and a quarter, then one and a quarter and half. Okay, so that way they're even. So here, if I don't tell you now, I'll forget. So half, one and a quarter, uh, what was it, four and a quarter, and five. That looks, yep, that will probably work out. I only do um, four or an even number of binding holes because if you do an odd number your thread when you come out and you're binding your books will be on the opposite side of where you started and it makes it a lot harder to tie them and you don't want that so the eyelets are going to go right here where i'm putting these circles can you all see that yeah okay good so this also is a good guide uh, whenever you're using your crocodile i almost said crap dial. I'm so used to calling it a crap dial because I hate that stupid thing. It never works right. I always leave a big space here in the middle because on the other side I always put little embellishment things. Where is that thing at? I kicked it over I don't know how many times. Because I just don't even bother with it. Hopefully the freaks will replace my replace this because that hinge right here broke but luckily I have a husband who knows how to fix stuff but it broke after like a few months of me having it and I was not very happy with that that's a great and it's aggressive because your daddy made it that way. It has this little weird pop back thing now that it does. So, see, watch it. Well, it does that. It's not supposed to do that. It works. There's the hole. But it ain't supposed to do that. I usually use my little handheld one if it's close to the edge because 
it works better. The handheld ones are fine. It's these, the big bite ones. Unless you have one of the ghetto old ones, like, that still work fantastic. Because then it... See this? I like this one. This one works really great. And it's good for lining up the holes. Yeah, that one's so much better. I know it is. Until this stuff gets kind of stuck in there, but... Somebody else said hi. Hi. Let me see who you are. Oh, hey, Maya. That's Maya. If I ask my daughter who it is, she'd be like, I don't know. Because <laughs> I'm bad at reading names. Yeah, she's really bad at reading names. I'm bad at pronouncing I'll tell you, the people who have the funniest names is that I play the Nintendo Switch. And they came out with, like, if you played, like, the Wii and the Wii Sports, like, tennis and stuff, it's the Nintendo Switch equivalent of that. It's if they have, like, really cool stuff like Chumbara and soccer and uh, badminton. And, but they still have tennis and bowling and volleyball. Oh, I love volleyball. And they add sports on there, too. And they added golf, which is a lot better than the Wii one. And them names on there, I'll just start sitting there cracking up laughing. I'm like, where do these people come up with this stuff? Good grief. I think I'm going to do silver. Silver, I think, will go well with this. Hi, currently journaling with some of my scoop items. Oh, do you love it? I've been sitting there adding stuff to scoops secretly, like adding new products and seeing if anybody notices. What are the handheld ones called and where can I get the rivets for them? Cropodile, Cropodile 2, Big Bite. And the handheld ones, I have all these saved in my journals list, so you can go on there. They're under craft tools. And then the eyelets can be kind of, um, they actually are called grommets and washers. Uh, they're kind of hit or miss. Sometimes you get good ones and sometimes they had a bad day. So it's in, again, on Amazon. But sometimes I will sit there and I'll have good days and bad days with them. Hang on, i got to use that. Uh, Somebody said they liked your nails. No, oh, thank you. Does the pink one do the same thing as the big one? This one only has a one inch reach. This one has a oh, six inch reach. But you can actually put in the big one, you can go this way too, as long as your book isn't, doesn't go over six inches. So if you have a longer book, you can go that way with it, if that makes sense. I'm using a paintbrush to kind of make these holes just a little bit bigger because these eyelet, the silver ones that I have, are just a hair thicker. Do you a hair add bigger. the paper later in the middle? Yeah. I do the cover first and I'll uh, bind it after that. And it usually doesn't take me this long, but I lost my little index card book somewhere on my desk because I was working on the uh, Imagine book. I'm just making these holes. See, you see the holes? I'm just making them hair bigger so these grommets will fit in here and I'm using the end of a paintbrush. It works. Do you recommend both of them making a book 8.5? An 8 point, like the uh, inches? The book inches a book 8.5. Um, my other book that I make is eight and a half by six by two. Um, it's got two inch spine. It's eight and a half by six. I have to use this one for that one. Um, I do recommend having both. This one right now is I don't know why they haven't recalled it because of that hinge, but they're keep saying that they're going to get a new stock in and I've been trying to get that one replaced since August. I've been corresponding back and forth with um, 
we are memory keepers. Oh, I forgot to do that one. Uh, to try to get it replaced because eventually the hinge will break. But um, Tanya from Journey Journals, she said she went and she bought another one because the same thing happened to her at Michael's. They said to keep your receipt and they will replace it over and over again if they have to when it breaks. Just to let you guys know. Which is, that's awesome. I couldn't get mine replaced because I bought mine on Amazon and I was out of the window to get it replaced. So I was really peeved about that. What size? I don't know how to say that. Grommet? Yeah. Uh, they're 3 sixteenths. I like using the 3 sixteenths size. And they will look... Is it like this is a grommet. This is a grommet washer. Oh. Washer. Think of like daddy's screws and stuff when he has yeah, washers. I know that. Yeah, that's what it is. Just never heard it said like that. Yeah, it's just a washer. A washer is just that in between thing. So that in between. That <laughs> it's a space in between. So yeah. But like I said, these silver ones seem to have been really, really good because, I mean, if you look at them, they're, the washers are built a little bit different than what I'm used to using. Let me, I'll show you. The, I like bronze. I use the bronze one a lot. These are also 316. They don't look like it, but they are. Um, they also do them by millimeters. This is a four millimeter. This is probably like a five or five millimeter. If you could... I know I don't know where my hand is. See the difference? Five millimeter, four millimeter. This is the washer for the silver one. And then the washers for the bronze one. Here, open that for me. I'll show you what they look like. This is kind of like it has like um like more bumps in it and stuff. Um here, hold on to the container. Don't no, drop it. And then this is the washer for the bronze one. And you can kind of tell this is more flat and this is more kind of ridgy. So, and they do, they have a different size thing that you have to use on here. You have to use, what is it, number one for the silver one and number two right here for the bronze one. It's kind of one of them things that you want to practice with before you actually try to put them in any kind of paper because <laughs> you're going to be taking them out a lot. And so it's good to practice on stuff. It may seem like you're kind of wasting them, but once you, it, you're going to just waste them anyway if you don't practice it. So, and it, that really helps. I'm doing the edges first before I do the in, inner ones with the big bite. And the great thing is, is if you do just this, that's how easy it is to push the grommets in. It's not like, it shouldn't be like a forced, like you're killing your hand doing that. What in the world? Hold on, we got, I got a washer stuck to this one. And I was with the big one. Oh my gosh. I It got to the point where I couldn't even push it down. It was so bad. And it was probably because the hinge was messed up. I was probably like <laughs> killing myself for no reason trying to get this sucker down. And let me switch this one. And the same with this one. And then eventually, these things do come out, and you have to replace them. See, mine, it's already starting to get worn right in there. You, these just pop out, and you got to replace them. Here's your little... Oh, thank you. Washers back. I don't know who that was. You're welcome. I hope that helps. I don't know all the technical terms. For things, I'm still learning myself. I didn't even know what a signature was um, until my daughter told me last whoop, last year. I'm gonna end up.
to open them. Come on. There we go. Oh, I always feel like I need to say a little prayer just to make sure that it will do its thing and not be dumb. The big one seems harder to do. It, it is a lot hard. It's not supposed to be that hard. It's supposed to be like, you should be able to pick it up like this and squeeze it. And I, Daddy can because his hands are massive, but I don't know what they were thinking. Why didn't you put paper under them? On the inside. I'm going to put it over it. I'll show you here in just a second. And get these last three. I don't like the, the look of them on there. Did my thing just pop out? I think it did. See the little finicky thing? And this one, for some reason, these ones came with like... Some of the washers already on them, and it's so sometimes it looks really weird. All right, last one. Okay, got that taken care of. Y'all hear a crash or a boom? It's probably something under my desk that I just set down there to get out of the way. All right, and we're going to put the liner in. Glue on the uh, attic so that way it has a good 24 hours to dry before I start raising cane in it. What's the paper pad called? It... Is called, I use that paper. I use the front. It's called Welcome Home. I have them. Where did I put those? Oh, no, no, here. I got them right here. Let me show you the cover because I just used the cover on this book. Here it is. It's brand new by Stamperia. I just put them in my Etsy shop and it's called Welcome Home. I have the whole collection, the ephemera packs and everything in there. Hopefully they'll last a while because I can't get any more in until mid-February because they are out of stock. I think it's my fault though because I did purchase a lot of them to <laughs> put it in my Etsy store. Okay, so where's that one please? So the middle piece here, I always put it over here and then I'll stamp the holes through. I just, I don't know why. Definitely ordering it. Huh? Somebody said definitely ordering it. I, it's, a, it's really pretty paper. I love it. And I, uh, we found out the paper wasn't released until January 11th, but I found out the day before and I was able to buy the stock on the 10th. So I wanted to get it um, before, as soon as possible, because I knew by looking at it, it was gonna go. It was gonna go in a hurry. All right, I'm just gonna use this. And it's always good to put just some glue in here. This is Crafter's Pick Ultimate, just for anybody who's joining or has joined and I haven't used any yet. And an icing bottle. I've used icing bottles. I know I told somebody the other day, uh, they asked me if I ever made some homemade cakes and I was like, oh yeah. I've made lots of homemade cakes for my kids for... Oh, the Reese's one that you made. That was good. Reese's. You still remember that? Yeah. There we go. And it was my birthday. I know, I but it, it felt like it was a long time ago. And I don't know. I just something about every time I go to like get a custom cake from somebody and they're like, it's gonna be like two hundred and seventy five dollars. I'm like, no, I'll make it myself and for a lot less than that. 
you know. That's the one you got for your birthday. Yeah, now we started just getting our cakes from Publix because Publix has some bomb looking cakes. They look like, like somebody you bought a cake off of like, like locally or something like that. And I'm just like, wow. I know this seems weird, but this is kind of my process for doing it. Doing these this way. It works, trust me. You know, I think Publix just has good food all around. Publix does have good food all around. I grew up eating Publix. That's why the only in Florida guy always has stuff like that. Huh? That's why the only in Florida guy always has yeah. food from Publix. He's always eating something. Well, that's a staple. I mean, you ask anybody, do you eat at Subway? If they're from Florida, they usually say, no, I like a pub sub. Oh, those are so good, though. They really are. I had, I have never, to this day, have eaten at a Subway. Because I'm just like, uh, do I, I have a choice? I think I'd rather have, uh, can I have a paper towel right there? Okay. I'd rather have Publix. We had Firehouse subs one time. Yeah, that's okay, but I still would rather have Publix. <laughs> Just getting all the excess glue out. There it is. I did hear somebody say one time though that the best thing from Subway, it's not their subs, it's their pizza. Pizza at Subway? Ah, uh, yeah. That sounds a little. It's weird. like Papa John's pizza, which is really weird for like the subway because you'd expect it to be like just like any cheap pizza, but mm -hmm. no, they said it was really good. That's interesting. I still won't eat at Subway. I feel like I'm betraying Publix. I do. Oh, yes, I'm the daughter who had the picture as the knight. Had the picture of the what? As the knight, you know, the super cool picture that you took? Of the anime. Oh, thing oh. Or something like that. Well, I posted one of Lily, too. Yeah. That's cooler, though. <laughs> She's the sarcastic one. I'm the fun one. If you've, if you've seen my videos, the fun one. Uh, I'm the yo mama joke kid. Yeah. What Jeez. size is your envelope board? Uh, the scoring board? The, the white one? That I, um, uh, hang on, I got it right here. It's Barry. Talking about this one? Yeah, the white one. Um, it is, looks like it's a seven by five and a half. It's tiny. I don't ever use one bigger than that. I don't really need one bigger than that. If I did, I probably would get a bigger one, but no. That one works and, and it stores pretty easy. The last one I had uh, was a gray one like that, or it was gray and it was about that size too. I need more sub places. Yeah. I need to go pub sub. There's a guy here on TikTok. Um, it's called Only in Florida. And if you want to know what Florida is really like, just go there. The frozen iguanas falling out of the trees. That's a common thing. When it dips below like 45 degrees, they freeze in the tree and they fall and they will fall on your head. That would suck. It would suck, but I've seen it happen. It's actually kind of you funny. You have, like, mental issues after that. No. Why would you have mental issues? Oh, well, if it hits you hard enough, yeah. Yeah, yeah well, I've, I've heard, okay, I swear it was on the news when I was a kid, and Poopaw laughed hysterically when he saw it on the news that some dude got hit in the head with a frozen iguana, oh. and it, oh. like... It like killed him because oh it was gosh. frozen. And 
who falls through and lies. He's like, how do you get killed? That's like a Darwin Award. And <laughs> and uh, he was laughing, and my mom was like, quit it. Don't laugh at that. That's messed up. He's like, what? You go outside. Watch what happens. And I was like, well, people die from getting hit with icicles. Not in Florida. They die from getting hit with frozen iguanas. You know? It happened. Big time. We're on the home stretch. This one, this book cover does take a little bit more time because of the complex shape of it and the lack of notes. But... I used to live in Fort Walton Beach. Fort my Walton Beach, yeah. Yeah. My sandals would melt to the floor because it's so hot. Yep. Jeez, and that's why we live in Tennessee. I don't like. I uh, like hot. Nikki, you know the other journal and chick mm -hmm. who lives over in Maryville here. She's she wants to move to Florida, and I was like, oh my god, take me with you. The taxes are so much better than they are I mean, here. Yeah, but like I can't deal with hot like. Oh, I can deal with cold because you can bundle up, but if you're hot, there's no. like nothing you can See, do. See, my problem is with cold is I was born and raised in Florida. I'm not used to it. And I'm genetically predispositioned uh, to asthma. So when it gets below a certain temperature, it, I can't breathe. It, like, it might, like my lungs just close up. So I don't like the cold. I'm like, nope. I'm a hermit. I'm staying inside. That's funny because like half of your family is from up north. I well, yeah, all my family's from up north. I'm the one who was born the most south out of my whole entire family. Nobody besides uh, Grammy Cardi. She was Jamaican, so. But other than that, <laughs> I have to write it down. If I pass away from something dumb, they are making something better. <laughs> 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 Try living in Colorado. Taxes oh, are no. insane. I, if you said Colorado, and immediately I thought cold. I, I just, oh, no, I don't think I could do it. Yeah, when I first moved to Tennessee and I found out there was a tax on dairy products, I was like, what? Uh, you know, because uh, in Florida there's no it's tax. Not a thing? No. Like, if milk is two ninety nine, they say, your total is two ninety nine. We don't have a, they didn't have an income tax. Oh dude, in Australia they have the tax included on the price tax. So you know how some will say two ninety nine mm -hmm. and then you have to pay for tax at the checkout. Yeah. They show you what the tax is on the price tag. So oh, you already know how much you need. Okay. So I'm using the one eighth size. Okay, this is what I'm gonna do. I always flip it over. And I'm going to poke. I know it seems weird when I do it. I just do it this way. I don't know why. If you live near the ocean, the heat isn't so bad. I have no, it's that. not. It, my grandmother lives in Palm Beach. And now, we have went on vacation down there. I didn't think it was bad at all. There's always a breeze and everything. It's not bad. Um, especially the Gulf side of Florida is definitely not bad. If we ever went to the beach, we always went to the Gulf side. God, no, the Atlantic side is rough. Very, very rough. You can't swim in it. It's not pleasant at all. The Gulf side is definitely a better calm side, and it's really different. It almost looks like lake water, but it's not lake water. It's I like swimming. Huh? I like swimming. No, like you don't swim in lakes. I. That's why I will never swim in a lake. I can't. I can't handle it. I'm in New my York. I love my Four Seasons. <laughs> <laughs> I have too much anxiety about lakes and stuff. This is why I have so many hang-ups. I don't. I didn't like swimming at the beach. That was scary. It, when you said, "Oh, watch out for jellyfish," I was like, "What?" <laughs> Dad says, oh, you were too young to remember any of that. No, I wasn't. I remember everything. Sorry, I don't want to stick my head in the way. I'm going to stick. Oh, it would help if I had them turned around the right way. Okay, so these are going to go here. All right. 
Let's pray we get it right. Colorado has all four seasons in one day. Right. <laughs> Florida is like the type, if it's uh, cold in the morning time, it's like 100 degrees in the afternoon. Florida is like And there's and like spring. five five minute rains. Yeah, it's like summer and spring in one day. Yeah, I can see that. Let me find something. So just British Columbia. Oh yeah, see that. the The afternoon rainstorms in Florida always were weird. It like would rain like like tropical depression rain, and then all of a sudden it was. Nice and sunny, like nothing ever happened. It's just always really bizarre. We used to joke that the weather would be opposite of what is predicted in Florida. Mm-hmm. I believe it. Okay, I'm gonna lift this up. Sunny, I remember this day. It's just been very dreary here lately. Yeah, it's been kind of ho hum here. I want to move it. I guess that's this. January for you. Yeah, it's winter. I just want to hold this for a second, let it dry. So I don't have any gaps. I don't think I'd survive if we went back to Florida. I would just be melting. Depends on when you go. What what yeah. season you go in? We went in October. I don't want to go during love bug season. I don't Ooh. miss that at all. That is like the most. It, oh, it's so. It's just annoying. You know, you always have bugs crawling all over you. Can't ever wear your hair down. Oh, it's so annoying. Okay. Born in New York, lived in Florida, and now in Tennessee. Wow. That's, so you're what they call, um, what do they call them people that come from up north, and they move all the way to Florida, and then they kind of come halfway back. They call them something, and I don't remember what it is now. Well, I mean, they used to call them carpetbaggers, but that was like in the 1800s, so. You have learned something. Yes, I have learned something. I hated love bug season. They're everywhere. Yes, they destroy everything. Whoever's brilliant idea that was at the University of Florida, I hope they went into hiding forever. Because it's awful. Oh, snow bunnies. We have lots of bunnies around here. Mm -hmm. Although... But they don't like us. No. No. It's not you know how, how all those people movies. will be on TikTok? And they have like hummingbirds and stuff eating out of their hands. We have so many woodland creatures around here. I want to be Snow White and have them come hither. I want to love them. And Snowbirds, that's what they call them. Snowbirds, yes. Yeah. And none of the creatures around here like us. I'm like, I see a stray cat outside, and I'm like, oh, kitty, kitty, and it just looks at me like, yeah, right. From California, lived in Texas, and now in Indiana. Jeez, you guys move everywhere. That's like the Bermuda Triangle right there. Yeah. We're boring. Yeah. Well, I am. Well, you're only 14. I'm not well-traveled. I'm not well traveled. I've lived in two states my whole life: Florida so and Tennessee. What glue you use. Crafter's pick, ultimate. Looks like this. My granddaddy had wild squirrels in his lap, eating out of his hand. Yep. Yeah, see, <laughs> I want to do that. You know, I, know right? I get excited when the hummingbirds come and eat out of my feeder, and then when I want to go out there, and I'm like, please, just eat it out of my hand. Nope. I don't think they really can. Yeah, they can. I've seen people on TikTok do it. It's like a syrup, ain't it? No, they put, like, the little nectar thing like this in their hand, like a little cup. Oh. And, um, I'm just holding this down so it will dry. And they, um, 
they'll come over there and they'll just do that out of their hand. But you know what would happen? As soon as one tried it, I'd start, I'd flinch. <laughs> and I'd be like, oh my God. Okay, I don't want it. I don't want it. <laughs> you know, so yeah, that would really freak me out. See, that's why I would want a pig because they just eat. I don't so. want a pig. Yes. I'd eat it. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> I would. I love bacon. No, I would never eat it. I mean, I would still bacon eat bacon. Tastes good. But like pork tastes good. If it's done on TikTok, it's real. <laughs> hey, I've seen a lot of them. I'm just saying. But I seen a squirrel bring a woman a cookie and leave it on her porch. Nothing good ever happens like that in my house. You no, know, if you there's get a, a cookie, dead bird. yeah. We, no, oh, we did get an animal on our porch one time. It was a hawk. Chasing <laughs> my hummingbirds away, and they all hid for like a couple of days and wouldn't come back. Kind of, and I was mad. And it like hit our front door. It scared me half to death. I was like, what the heck was that? We look out, and there's a hawk. I even have a video of it on TikTok. And because I was like, what a bonehead. He hit the door. <laughs> That's all I, I was concerned about. For a second. And then. My my husband was like, look at those talons. Look at them. And that's all he was concentrating on. <laughs> I was just shocked. Not that, oh, our door might be damaged because of bird camp fly. Yeah, I know, right? I just thought it was dumb. I was like, there's a <laughs> door here, a big red door. It's not like you can miss it, you know? All righty. So I'm going to let this dry. And then we'll finish it up. And so in the signatures, and da can you all see this? I'm not paying attention now. This has got to dry. Anytime I make this book, this is the part I leave alone for a whole day and don't mess with it because I want it to dry and stay put. So that way when you do that, oh my gosh, I have glue on the front. Let me wipe that off. Okay, good. Let me double check it. And so... They'll go all in here. I have glue stuck to my fingers and it's getting on the book. And sew in the two signatures in here. And I'll probably use brown paper and a few pieces of paper, maybe from the Stamperia pad. And then decorate it with the ephemera packs that I showed you guys earlier. Like put the front door here. I'm probably gonna put the little fence on here. I also put book corners right here, right here on the peak, and then I'll put one right here. And and the it looks like a roof. I may also put some of that lace stuff. This right here, can y'all see that? I usually will lace it, and I may lace it like this. Kind of make it look kind of cottagey looking. I could even put like a little chimney on there if you wanted to. But you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to put the ribbon in the inside to go across. But that's okay because I could still do it and I could put something over it. Because I did that in the last book too. <laughs> I was like, doggone it, I forgot. And so I just sat there and did it over. Um, just put the ribbon. I'm going to put a ribbon across here so when you close it then it will tie over here and stay shut. Which, I mean, it will stay shut anyway because see, it will, it's pretty good. Even with the signatures in there, it will. So, I like it and I like this paper and I think it's amazing. And I will plan on Friday, maybe a little bit early, um, I may start like maybe 530 Eastern time and start doing the binding and stuff. But if you can't join, then it will be on my YouTube channel the next day. It always, this will be on the YouTube channel the next day. It takes so long to process. And then you can see it and I'll have it labeled, you know, uh, I'll split this one up since we made the accordion book first and then this one. And then this will be the part one is the cover. And then part two will be finish finishing everything else, if that makes sense. But I like this paper a lot. I'm super stoked about it. And 
I'll find my note and I'm probably gonna find something that I'm like oh no I did something but we'll put the ribbon across next time and I won't touch it like I promise so that way you guys can see it starting from here so I'm, oh my YouTube is four girls stole my heart LLC and there's I think there's a button under my profile picture that's the YouTube button and that takes you right to it and you can also use my link tree link and that goes to all journal supplies uh, on my website everything I'm looking at your stuff sorry if that answers your question so I think it came out good I can't wait to finish it up um, and I'll plan on doing it on Friday if you go to my um, bio you can under my picture it will say when my live my next live is and I'll create a live event and then you can read what we're doing in there also and if you can't join just find me on YouTube oh thank you I'm trying to organize my videos a little bit better on YouTube because now I have like a lot more tutorial videos and they're kind of like some of them are inserts some of them are book binding so I'm trying to separate them out and I separated them today so I have one specifically for building books and one for building the stuff that goes in the book so that way it's so much easier to find it thank you that's really 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 sweet that that makes me know that comment right there oh my gosh I'm actually pointing to the right thing um, that makes me know that I'm actually doing something right when you guys say stuff like that and this is Ella by the way who's been in here with me oh thank you you guys are my favorite. You guys inspire me every day to do crazy stuff. Well, I hope I made it easy to learn. I don't like overcomplicated. Hello. <laughs> I'm still here. I'm just being quiet. For once. I actually kind of like you in here reading the comments for me. I can get Ruby's tablet next time. Like, yeah. she goes to bed and sit. Pop a squat. <laughs> All right. Well, we're hopping off of here, guys. Thank you guys so much. Again, this is the Welcome Home Pad. Brand new. It's in my Etsy store today. So, if you want to get it and make this bad boy right here. Look, see? That's why I like crafter's pick. Already stuck. I'm going to do that. It's going to fall apart. <laughs> and um, we're going to uh, finish this up, like I said, Friday. Probably 5.30, so I'm not up until, like, past my bedtime. And we'll do the binding. I'll show you all the cool little mixed media stuff that I do in here because most people don't get to see all that. I usually show afterwards because it's kind of a process but I'll kind of plan it out of what I'm going to do and I hope to see you guys next time thank you guys for all the likes and all the follows and any of the gifts up there that I cannot see and thank you you're very welcome good night everybody see you on Friday <laughs>